Plastic waste is one of the biggest environmental challenges of our time. Every year, millions of tons of plastic end up in landfills and oceans. Plastic bags, in particular, can take hundreds of years to decompose. But what if nature already gave us a solution? Surprisingly, the answer might come from something very small, often seen as a pest, waxworms. Waxworms are the larvae of the wax moth, and beekeepers usually consider them harmful because they infest hives and feed on beeswax. But scientists have discovered something fascinating. These little creatures can also chew through polyethylene, one of the most common plastics in the world, and break it down inside their bodies. This discovery has stunned researchers. Why? Because waxworms can do in one day what nature usually takes centuries to accomplish. At an international biology conference in Belgium, Canadian scientist Dr. Brian Casson revealed just how powerful this ability is. He and his team found that around 2,000 waxworms could completely break down an entire plastic bag in just 24 hours. That's right. Something humans struggle with for decades, these worms can handle in a single day. So, how do they do it? The secret lies in their gut bacteria. When scientists fed waxworms pieces of plastic, they noticed something unusual. The worm's droppings became soft and watery, and inside was a chemical byproduct called glycol, a sign that the plastic was being broken down. But here's the key. When the scientists gave the worms antibiotics to stop their gut bacteria, the breakdown almost completely stopped. This proved that the bacteria in the worm's intestines were the real plastic destroyers. Digging deeper, the researchers isolated bacteria from the worm's guts and grew them in the lab. Some strains could actually survive on nothing but plastic as their only food source. One strain, called Acinetobacter, survived for over a year in the lab and kept breaking down polyethylene the entire time. Imagine, tiny microbes that can eat plastic nonstop, but it doesn't stop with the bacteria. When scientists studied the worm's genes, they discovered that eating plastic also triggered a change inside the worm's bodies. The worms started producing more fat-related genes, and their bodies stored more fat. In other words, with the help of their gut bacteria, waxworms can turn plastic into energy and body fat, nature's own recycling system. Of course, there's a catch. A diet of nothing but plastic doesn't keep waxworms alive. In fact, worms fed only plastic quickly lost weight and died within just a few days. This shows that while they can digest plastic, it isn't tea really food for them. It is more like fuel that needs to be balanced with other nutrition. So what does this mean for the future? Dr. Casson and his team believe there are two possible paths. The first is to farm waxworms in large numbers, giving them extra nutrients so they stay healthy while continuing to break down plastic. The second, and perhaps more exciting option, is to copy nature. By studying the enzymes and bacteria inside the worm's guts, scientists could design bioengineered solutions to recycle plastic without needing the worms themselves. Imagine waste treatment plants equipped with microbes or enzymes that can melt down plastic bags in a matter of hours. It could completely transform how we deal with plastic pollution. For now, the waxworm is showing us something incredible. That even the tiniest creatures can hold the key to solving some of the biggest problems humans have created. So next time you see a small worm, remember, it might just be nature's secret weapon against plastic.